You already oh, know man. it's your boy out here, Lewis, with Danny. Danny. You know, oh, we got some yeah. some fans in the background. You know? that right? Slightly low energy because we're tired and it's. No, you can do any of the work. It's just tired. Or we're tired. Okay, so over here we can showcase some. Oh wait, I can zoom out. Great. Okay, so over here we can showcase some common characteristics of family Picornoviridae. Pico Oh, yes. Yeah. So, some common characteristics include the fact that it is unenveloped. It has icosahedral uh, symmetry. Um, the RNA or some characteristics of the RNA genome are that it is positive sense mRNA. It is single stranded. It is unsegmented. It contains seven thousand five hundred to nine thousand bases, and there is a single open reading frame. So. The definition for BPG is that it is a protein primer linked to the five prime end of the prime. And the IRES, which is the internal ribosome entry site, is located in the five prime untranslated region. So one of the medically important viruses that we are covering today is aptovirus, which is also known as foot and mouth disease virus. So this virus or characteristics of this virus include that it is native to cattle and swine. Um, it is transmitted through fecal and oral route. Um, some symptoms include a high fever that lasts two to six days, followed by blisters that are inside the mouth and on the feet. Uh, the virus is very stable in the environment, meaning that it can linger for a long time naturally. Um, this virus is an issue worldwide, except in the U.S., where, where it has been eradicated, and the vaccine exists, but it is, or but, what is but it? Importation, importation. Countries that vaccinate are not allowed in the U.S. due to the fact that they can't tell the difference between like symptomatic and asymptomatic uh, uh, animals. Exactly. So now we have the enterovirus, poliovirus. It is transmitted through oral fecal. Um, it has been endemic for thousands of years. Newborns are protected by the maternal antibody, but when they're born, they don't really have to deal with the poliovirus. Um, it was mainly a pandemic as a result of a large susceptible susceptibility of the older population, so they spread it easily to people. Um, there's two vaccines, the live vaccine, the same vaccine, and the soft vaccine, which is the good vaccine. Um, the replication in the gut of the virus is asymptomatic. The older children and adults are more likely to develop the disease, as it was said before. Um, poliovirus can enter the blood and lymph via the Peyer's patches, and if it enters the brain and spinal cord, it can cause um, encephal encephalitis, paralysis, or meningitis. And then we have hepat hepatovirus, which is hep hepatitis A. It affects humans, tra uh, transmits through fecal oral transmission. It's a food born, not blood born, but because it's characterized by an elevation in blood level, blood level liver enzymes, which can kill like the liver. And um, it's in the blood right? And there is a vaccine available, which is an inactivated vaccine. All right, for listening to our TED talk, we hope you have a good day. Boom.